some climbs have think tanks mm. in every sector that make up the economy mm. agriculture um, um, information technology as many as many sectors as you can possibly think of their job is not to do the hard work well people think thinking is not enough hard work i mean even in the advertising industry some of the the beautiful ads you see that capture your attention and propel you to make the decision to buy or not to buy someone sat down and sort about those things and then put them together they flashed them by management management okay them they went on with execution and boom i mean there are some ads that will never leave my head today and i ask myself the brain or the team sometimes it's a team they have their own office all they do they come to work they dress up but what they are doing is brainstorming i say oh let's try this or can we do this or i just thought about something or how how would it how would it look like if we do implement this those kind of people are they featured under the futuristic people are they featured under the meditators uh well so it's it's all an embodiment of everything and every organization really needs them we need to think tomorrow you know, at some point, I was um, in some conversation where we're thinking to um, create what we call the National Ideation Center. Mm. We need to, once upon a time, so mo it's more than two, three decades when we had, when we last had the uh, the national national think tank, mm. right? I think headed by Professor Bolaji Akiemi. Because every nation needs to think, okay? Every nation needs to put some prime thoughts together or uh, otherwise create a platform for people to bring in suggestions on innovations, whether it's from a Greek or a, uh, a do tech or whatever, you know, and I, I like to think tomorrow. And then, you know, you, you even get on the platform, the World Economic Forum, and then you Google World Economic Forum 2025 and you'll be amazed. Some, some present day jobs are getting obsolete very quickly mm. and then um so i was i was trying to um assess the prime job areas or the prime work areas in the future and we have things like critical thinking skills mm. analytical thinking skills problem solving skills futuristic thinking skills that's where ideation comes in interesting yeah so some some it's it's really important because you'll realize we've been told severally that skill sets um expire over five years and so a lot of us sit down after our, i mean when last did you get your degree your last certificate maybe your first degree was gotten 20 years ago 30 years ago what have you done about it what short courses have you done some one week two months because you need to be on top of the game those of us who are into edu and tech you realize that every time in fact there are some times we have to we have to mix our team we have to bring in some very young ones because we are in our 40s okay some of us are even in our 50s okay some others the young ones are in their 30s we have to bring in some 20 year olds some interns and all that to come rethink sometimes we have to even go into destructive thinking we have to go into disruptive thinking so um even what you think is a bright idea somebody has to just make rubbish of it okay not for the pleasure of it but for the sake of rethinking it and rejigging it and re-enlivening it and coming up with something that is more, more in tune proof. yeah with the future the kind of future you're going to and of course you know every every idea no matter how smart it is dies by the second hmm. okay because every time there is a new breath there's a new thought and there's a modification. So we must open up ourselves to those realities and stop feeling like local champions because the world is advancing and we are fast, you know, um, being left behind. So at some point, we would need to play catch up. And I don't know how quickly we can run to catch up with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm.